Okay, we're starting out with a Mike Frazier First Honest Antelope. We've got a John Cargill replacement nose, set of Research Mannequins R25 30 millimeter eyes, and Bill Lancaster 3D ear liners. The first thing that I like to do is, once the mount's properly dried for the right amount of time, I'll take a stiff wire brush, and I'll back comb the muzzle area, and we're gonna come in here and paint, and we've gotta have that hair standing up to be able to get through the hair and to paint this muzzle area. Also, I'll come up around the eyes and I'll just back comb that hair around the eyes because we're going to be painting through the hair to get that skin tone back around the eyes. Same thing with the ears. We'll come in and get any debris that might, loose debris that might be on that ear on the inside of it and back comb that. Once we get our back combing done, the next step will be going through and adding our epoxy to fill any of the spots that might have pulled away from the artificial nose. If you notice here, we've taken and smoothed the transition between the natural skin and our artificial nose. We've got it textured, and you may actually have to do a little bit of texturing with a modeling tool. It isn't, the goal isn't to get it to look absolutely smooth. We want to have it match the material that it's going into. So in other words, right here where we're transitioning up into that nostril wing a little bit and even up on the upper nostril wing, don't be afraid to get a little bit of texture put in there. And we are going to come back in and in the front here <clears throat> where our nodules stop about right there, we're going to add some nodules in here with some Mod Podge and, and build these nodules up as soon as we come off of that artificial nose. The last thing we'll do on this eye is clean it with a little Windex and a Q-tip, and then we're ready to do a little bit of Mod Podging. I like to take the small bottle, fill it with Mod Podge, I'll put a little bit on my finger, and then we'll come in here and put just a little dab, just to give it a little bit more texture. Put just a little bit of texture in that front corner on the core uncle. And then I'll come around to the front. We're just gonna put a nice layer of Mod Podge on there, and then we'll go up and do the other core uncle, and we'll let this set up for just a little bit. This is bringing back a little bit of fullness to the skin portion of that nose pad. And what we'll do is we'll come in with our applicator, and we'll add some nodules to match the nodules coming down off the artificial nose. Okay, we've got to the point where our Mod Podge is starting to set up on that nose and if you take a look you can see a little bit more of the texture from where we, we've added the to the nodules on the bottom down in the real skin and as it transitions to the artificial nose we've added a couple little droplets of Mod Podge. Now our next step is going to be going ahead and painting. Before we get into painting the nose and the eyes I do like to run uh, up into this back brushed area on the muzzle and on the chin and we'll clean the hairs off first. And I'm just gonna put a, just a light amount of paint that'll give us a little bit of our color back up into that muzzle area. And then we'll come in and clean that off of the hair. And I like to use a spiral brush or a cloth to do a little bit of the cleaning. And this'll just give us a little bit more color down into that muzzle area. We'll continue painting the rest of this, the other nostril, and then we'll work our way up to the eyes and the ears.